Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin with the tutorial, I want to tell you guys a couple of tips to make applying the eyeliner much easier. First off is using a tape. This is um, a great tool for you to just put it on the edges so that your wings are perfectly straight and pointy. Also want to make sure that when you're applying the tape, you want to angle it so that it's not going straight up like to your eyebrow. You want it to go out towards your temple. All right, so you gotta look at your eye straight ahead and it's hard for you to see, see it right now because of my eyelashes, but when you look straight ahead, you wanna look at the crease. I have slightly hooded eyes, which means that my top um, skin kind of folds over my eyelid. And so if you have that, you really want to make sure that your eyeliner does not pass or doesn't reach that crease because then it's going to transfer to the top. So every time that you close your eyes, you're going to be able to see the black eyeliner up here. So you want to make sure that you get it right in between your lash line and the crease. That's where you want to end your eyeliner anywhere from there or lower depending on the thickness that you want but you don't want to go past the halfway mark so that you don't get any transferred eyeliner to to your top eyeshadow okay the final tip is very very important and it's having a steady hand and the way that you can get a steady hand is by use your finger as support place your pinky down on your face and then go ahead and draw on there. And if you're gonna do it on this side, then just place it like that. Or another thing that I do is I kind of just put my chin, I mean, put my palm on my chin like that and go like that. That helps to have a steady hand so it's not shaky and you know the lines would be nice and crisp. I suggest you have a lot of patience and practice a lot and do, like just don't give up because I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna get it one day and don't be afraid and discouraged by any mistakes just grab a little q-tip and some makeup remover remove whatever you messed up and just try it again so if you want to see how I get my wing eyeliner then please keep on watching so you're gonna line up your tape with the lower lash line and have it go towards your temple I think this is the easiest technique for beginners and it helps to kind of make them both even. Feels a little weird but it's okay. The first way that I'm going to show you is using a felt tip pen. Now I think this is easy for your super, be super beginner and you just want to make a little thin line. I think this would be very good for that with no wing or anything. Just put it across along your lash line and stamp it on. Lift it up, stamp, lift it up, stamp. And then turn this way a little bit so you can get the other side. Oh, I hope I'm in frame for this. Hard. Go over it a couple of times if you need to. Okay, and that's it. That's the eyeliner. for. This is like the simple, just thin line. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do a wing. You can use this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. This is $3. You can find it at any drugstore. This little eyeliner comes with a brush already which is super tiny and it's you can also get some little eyeliner brushes from elf there you have an angled they have a small angled brush and they also have this angled eyeliner brush that's the brush is angled and i like to get it on both sides and then i kind of make the brush thinner and remove excess by just scraping along the edge of the of the pot so now you can just start on the actual tape I'm just gonna start really small little strokes like this 
you just go as high as you want it to as you want your eyeliner to go I think I'm gonna stop like right there I don't want it too long I'm gonna start right here at the center and bring it all the way towards the tape just straight across okay and now I like to look away like kind of to stretch my skin and I'm going to start taking it up until it reaches the center Okay, once you have the desired thickness, you're gonna work on the tail now. So we already, I already put, that's where I want it to end at. So I'm just gonna kinda make the transition from this, from the line that we drew straight across and connect it to the wing that we kinda already started. Okay, that's it. And then so we'll take off the tape very gently because your skin is sensitive so since this is a cream and not a gel eyeliner it's it needs a little bit of time for it to dry so I'm gonna let this dry before we finish it off and I'm gonna move on to this eye and just start off thin and then work your way to the desired thickness that you like okay so when I'm working on this half of my eye I make the angled the pointed angle part face my nose and when I'm working on this half of my eye I make sure that the pointed brush the, the point on the brush is facing away from my face so when I'm working, I go this way, and then I turn it, and I go that way. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of tilt my head back a little bit to stretch and smooth out this this inner skin right here. I don't like to pull on my eye, and you don't really need to do that with this eyeliner because it's so smooth and and creamy. So I'm gonna start off thin and kind of stamping right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna work my, I'm gonna build up the thickness until I reach the level of the center of my eye. You wanna do very small strokes. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker so that I can match my other eye. Okay there, and again, like I said, don't worry about the edges because we're gonna fix that. Just make sure that you get the thickness that you want. Then work your way up and cross, and then just start kind of connecting it to the other line. Which is true. So now remove the tape gently. Okay, so I feel like I did this tail a little bit longer and pointier than that one. And that's okay, we'll fix that in a little bit. So for that, I'm gonna use my NYC liquid eyeliner. I'm going to kind of go over everything that we did um, because this eyeliner is super dark and it's matte get your finger ready on your face we're gonna start right here and we're gonna take this very very gently small little strokes just right on the edge to perfect it I'm gonna try and make the tail a little bit longer and pointy like this one so we're actually gonna start never try and do it like this always go 
from inner to outer, okay? So that it can be nice and pointy. Once you, you're gonna start like this and then kind of go out quickly. So you want to kind of lift up the brush a little bit so that it's barely touching you and that's how you get the thin line. Alright, so I think that wing looks a little bit more like this wing. So now we're just going to go over this one to perfect the edges. Get your finger down. Short, steady strokes. Go over everything first. Darken it. And fill in any areas that we might have missed. So the edges are nice and crisp now. Okay, so I already finished the rest of my face. So right now I'm only wearing um, mascara. I don't have any false eyelashes on. But um, I would totally wear some false eyelashes. I'm not going to put any on right now. Because um, I like how my eyelashes look today. But I would totally wear this like with some big old eyelashes. <laughs> I'm going to use this tiny little angled brush from e.l.f. I'm going to kind of put it in where my tear duct is right here, and then I'm going to go out. You can do the bottom however it is that, um, that you like. I like to put on a cream colored um, eyeliner really makes the eyes appear brighter and bigger. So you could totally wear this. Like just do a bold eyeliner and a bold lip. If it's summer, you can wear a bright lip like this one. This is the color Heart On by ColourPop. Or since it's fall, you could wear a color like this one from Wet n Wild. This is the color Cherry Bomb, which is what I'm gonna go with today. I think my eyeliner is a little bit different, but I mean, you shouldn't worry about that because nobody is gonna notice. And as long as you get them looking pretty close, it's no big deal. Too, it's way too hard to try and get them to look exactly the same. You'll just get frustrated. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!